Once you start betting, you'll no doubt hear about what's called a parlay bet. Now, when you place a parlay, you're making a single bet that is linked to two or more outcomes. All bets included in the parlay must win. A good example of this would be taking multiple money lines in one parlay bet. You can take the individual bets and place them as normal, but what a parlay allows you to do is place both bets as one and get better odds. For this particular bet, by pairing both money lines as a parlay, you now see a money line of minus 155. Much more enticing, right? The potential return is better, but the more teams and outcomes you add to the bet, the riskier the bet becomes. Make sure you use the FTN Bets Parlay Calculator to determine potential payouts. A teaser bet is similar to a parlay, but the spreads or totals of each bet are adjusted. When you make a teaser bet, you'll notice the spreads and totals are vastly different than what's normally offered. As with the parlay, all events in your bet must win in order for you to win. Don't be roped into the thought that teasers are an easy way to make money, as correctly predicting the outcome of multiple bets can be quite the challenge. A prop bet or proposition bet is a type of sports bet that's not directly related to the outcome of a single game. Examples of prop bets would be whether or not Patrick Mahomes will throw for over or under 300 yards in this week's game, or whether LeBron James would snag over or under eight and a half rebounds. Now there are also futures bets, which aren't the same as prop bets, but are often thought of in the same light. A futures bet is true to its name. It's when you place a bet on an event that will occur in the future, such as whether Russell Wilson will win MVP next year or if the New York Yankees will win the World Series. A backdoor cover occurs when a favorite was covering the spread until a late flurry of scoring by their opponent ultimately drops the final score below the point spread. The favorite ultimately still wins the game, but not by enough points to cover what betters had to put on it. The underdog lost the game, but stayed within the point spread, thus executing a successful backdoor cover. The total amount of money a better has to wager is their bankroll. This includes all sports books where the better has an account as well as cash dedicated for wagering. An amount equal to 1% of your bankroll. The actual dollar amount can be different for everyone. So when people discuss their plays, they'll often speak of how many units they'll place on that particular bet. Someone with a $100,000 bankroll will have a unit size of $1,000. If you have $100, your unit size is $1. The closing line refers to the number offered when wagering closes on any event. Numbers can move throughout the week, and one way many sports bettors track their progress is against what the line closes at. If you consistently get better numbers during the week than the final closing line number, you're making good bets at the right time. Also known as an underdog, this refers to a team that's not expected to win. In a typical two-way American style line, the dog will always be the team listed with the plus in front of their money line. The larger the number after the plus sign, the lower the probability of that team winning. Edge is a term used to explain an advantage for a better over the sports book or vice versa. The difference between the actual probability of an event happening and the payout offered if it does occur is considered the edge. Even money is a wager place that will return the exact amount as the wager and winnings. A plus 100 wager is considered even money. You bet $100 to profit and you win $100 if you're correct. The amount of money taken in by a sports book on all bets is the handle. This can refer to a particular wager, an event, or a group of games. Now, hedging is a strategy used by bettors to either reduce their risk or guarantee a profit from a bet. This can be done through the use of in-game wagering on a single event, it can be done if a line moves drastically, or it can be done with futures bets. The key is some event must occur that forces the line to move in order to offer an opportunity to lock in some profits or reduce the downside. A way to place a wager on a game that's taking place with live odds is live betting. As a game plays out, the probability of each team winning or losing changes based on variables like the score, time remaining, and availability of players. The odds are a reflection of a moment in time and will constantly adjust throughout the game theoretically creating multiple new wagering opportunities 
based on the results of each play. This occurs when a sports book removes a bet from the board. This will often take place after injury news or a transaction with a particular team has taken place that would shift the odds in either direction. The term for the first point spread available for a particular game is the opening line. The opening line is usually the least accurate projection of a team's probability of winning and losing. Those who try to get the best number before any bets force the line to move will typically attack the opening line as soon as they are released by sportsbooks. Sharp money is when professional bettors with proven track records wager on a particular outcome. These bettors are sometimes known as sharps and may be part of a bigger betting syndicate. Sharp money coming in typically catches the attention of line makers. You often see lines adjusted in the direction of those sharp bets to make the number less appealing. These are often large bets, but wager size isn't what makes a better or his bet sharp. The skillfulness and track record of the better is what makes his or her bets sharp money.